Hey everyone, and welcome back to the local lab. If you're into AI and haven't been living under a rock, you know things are moving fast. We've got groundbreaking updates from Meta recently that has been shaking things up in the AI community. I'm talking about the next evolution in open source AI, the Llama 3.1 model collection. You might remember back in April when Meta first dropped Llama 3, sending ripples through the AI community. Well, buckle up, because they just supercharged it. We're talking bigger models, smarter capabilities, and a whole new level of access for developers like you and me. And that's not all. We're going to explore how this all connects to another game-changer open-source project, OpenWeb UI. This user-friendly platform lets you harness the power of these massive language models locally, and with its integrated web search feature, the possibilities are limitless. So, what's new with Llama 3.1? Meta's dropped a bombshell with their 405 billion parameter model. That's right. For 05B, putting it in a league with some of the biggest names out there. But size isn't everything, right? Meta also cranked up the performance too. These models are now multilingual, supporting eight languages right out of the box. They've also got an extended context length of 128K, meaning they can process and understand much larger chunks of information. This translates to better reasoning, improved tool use, and the ability to handle even more complex tasks. We've seen significant leaps in benchmarks, showing Llama 3.1 going head-to-head -head with the giants like GPT-40 and Claude Sonnet 3.5. But here's the kicker, Llama 3.1 is open source. Meta's committed to democratizing AI, giving developers the freedom to tinker, customize, and build incredible applications without the restrictions of closed systems. Now, let's talk about how Open Web UI comes into play. Open Web UI provides a clean, intuitive interface to interact with these powerful models. But here's where it gets really interesting. Open Web UI has a built-in web search function. This means you can connect your Llama 3.1 model, or any open source model, for that matter, to the vast knowledge base of the internet. Imagine the possibilities. Your AI assistant can now pull real-time information, research topics on the fly, and provide you with the most up-to-date answers. And the best part? You can run all of this locally on your own machine. Stay tuned because, in just a bit, I'm going to walk you through how to combine the power of Llama 3.1 with OpenWebUI's web search capabilities. We'll get this set up and running, and I'll show you just how easy it is to unlock a whole new world of AI-powered possibilities. First things first, if you don't have Miniconda installed already, head over to Anaconda's website. They've got great documentation. Just do a quick search for Miniconda and download the version that's right for your system. Once that's installed, find Anaconda prompt in your Windows search bar and open it up. Now, we're going to create a dedicated space for Open Web UI, kind of like a container, to keep everything organized. In your Anaconda prompt, type Conda create in Open Web UI Python equals 3.11. This creates a new environment called Open Web UI with Python 3.11. We need to use Python 3.11 specifically, as other versions might cause conflicts down the line. To activate this environment, type Conda activate Open Web UI. You'll know it worked if your command prompt changes slightly, usually showing the environment name. Now, it's as simple as typing pip install open web UI and hitting enter. This will handle all the dependencies and get open web UI set up on your system. Once that's finished, type open web UI serve to fire up the server. This might take a moment as it downloads any remaining components and models it needs. You'll see a localhost URL pop up in your terminal. Copy that paste it into your web browser and if you bump into an unable to connect error, don't sweat it. Just tweak the URL a bit. Remove the S from HTTPS and replace the IP address with 127.0.0.1. .0 .0 .1. 
That should do the trick and get you to the Open Web UI login page. Go ahead and create an account or log in if you've already got one. Now for the fun part, connecting our Llama 3 model. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner and select Admin Panel. Go to the Settings tab and look for the Connections section. This is where you'll paste in your OpenAI compatible API base URL and API key. I'm using the Llama 3.18b model from LM Studio, which has a fantastic API server. If you're curious about using LM Studio with Open Web UI, check out my other tutorial linked in the description below. With our model connected, let's unleash the power of web search. Head back to the admin panel settings and click on the web search tab. Hit that enable web search button and you'll see a bunch of options appear. Choose your preferred search engine from the dropdown. Open Web UI supports a ton of them like CRXNG, Google Serper, DuckDuckGo, Brave, and many more. Keep in mind that some might need extra configuration or API keys to get running. To keep things simple for this demo, we'll use Gina AI. It's a fantastic open source neural search engine that works right out of the box. No API key needed. Save your settings and let's get back to the chat menu. Make sure you've got your Llama model selected. Then hit that little plus button to the bottom left to enable the web search feature for this session. You'll notice a lever next to web search. Flip that on and you're good to go. Now, every message you send to your Llama model will first be augmented with information from the returned web search results. It might take a little longer to get a response since the search engine is working its magic in the background, but trust me, it's worth the wait. Your Llama model will now provide you with incredibly comprehensive and up-to-date answers, complete with source links. And there you have it. We've just taken our Llama model to a whole new level by giving it access to the vast knowledge of the internet. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you can achieve with Open Web UI and these powerful open source AI models. I'm incredibly excited to see what you all create with these tools. Remember, the future of AI is in our hands, and by embracing open source technologies, we're empowering a global community of innovators. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more AI adventures, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future updates. Until next time, happy searching 